What's up guys? Hope y'all are doing well. Got a midweek shave for you this week. Finally got some free time today and figured I would go ahead and knock one out for you. So uh, this is going to be a real simple shave today. Nothing fancy, but it's going to be a good shave, I promise. Brush for today is going to be the white handle Vanderhagen, Vanderhagen, however you say it. Razor for today is, this is inspired partly by Fuzzy because he showed his off the other day. His is a lot cooler than mine is. But it's the uh, Bakelite Handle uh, Jim Jr. Shave soap for the day. Colonel Conk's Lime. Love a citrus scent. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of water on the face here. My shave was on Sunday. Now this does absolutely nothing at all for the shave other than adding a little bit of water to the face for the brush, or for the soap. And I'm getting this brush just as dry as I can get it to start out with to make a lather. I'm going to go ahead and drop a razor in the sink because I like a warm piece of metal on my face versus a cold piece of metal. Brush, soap, soap, brush, let's commence. Alright, so all we're going to do now is we're just going to load straight from the container. Dip the tips of the brush in the water, get a little bit of water on it. We're going to load. Colonel Cock is often maligned as a sub-tier soap. It is not a sub-tier soap. Most folks just simply don't know how to use it. Most folks don't know how to do a lot of things that they call maligned or is subpar or is not quality. And again, this right here has nothing to do with the performance of the soap, but I like to do it. It's part of my routine. Since it's part of your routine, go ahead and do it, but let's not pretend for a minute that it has anything beneficial to do with the shave. If you're doing something for the sake of routine, I'm all for that. I have no problem with that. I'm a creature of habit as well. But to say that it helps the shave at all, that's not entirely true. As you can see here, we have a good lather. Already adding a little bit more water. And we're just going to build the lather on the face, simply dipping the tips of the brush in the water. And you can do that when you start with a dryer brush. It's always easier to add more water than it is to add more soap. Oh, it's been a day around here the last 72 hours. Both kids have been sick, the miss has been sick, work's been insane, so... This is a welcome shave. As you can see, just like that, Colonel Conk does lather up very nicely. We could get this to an uber lather if we needed to, but there's no need to, so we won't. Alright. Again, the Jim Jr. This is not the best condition one, but it is a nice one. It's a good shaving razor, so we'll go ahead and get started. First pass is going to be with the grain. As you can see here, I'm putting the razor completely flat on the face. Well, that's the way it was designed to be used. That's the way it should be used. No need to modify it. No hoodoo, no voodoo, no magic tricks. There are those out there. Say, I simply cannot get a good shave from a single edge razor. Gym style. You don't know what you're doing. Work on your technique. Or they'll say, my beard is so tough that I have to have a feather blade to shave. Horse feathers, to quote Fuzzy. I don't know about you. You may be a whole lot smarter than I am, but a piece of steel should always be able to cut hair. I 
I can get a buck 110 to cut through rope. We're talking thick rope. You're telling me a razor blade can't cut through a piece of hair? Bless your heart. And those of y'all from the south know what I'm talking about when I say that. Now. Well, that feather blade make up for your lack of technique? Probably so. Automatic makes up for your inability to drive a standard. Doesn't mean a standard is, in, is inferior. Just means you have crappy technique. Alright, technique is always going to be better than tools. Now, it may take you a couple more passes to get a good quality shave. Does that mean it's the razor fault? No. Does that mean it's not doing what it's supposed to do? No, it does not. It simply means it may take you more passes. Let some of this water drain out, get rid of some of this stubble down here in the sink. That is a socially acceptable shave, however, I do want to go for a second pass. Because it's my video and I can, so we'll do that. I have a few minutes without the children, so we'll take advantage of it while we can. Alright, second pass. No hoodoo, no voodoo, no magic, right to the face, and let's commit. Again. This Colonel Conk might be cheap. But it is extremely possible to get very good shaves. Cheap equipment. You do not need high dollar shave soap. You do not need high dollar razors. And you do not need expensive brushes to get a good shave. Now, if you want to buy that stuff, you buy that stuff. That's fine and well and dandy. It's your money. You do with it what you want to. But you do not need it to get a fine quality shave. Second pass. Here we go. Even this way, keeping the blade flat against the face. I'm trying to shave through the viewfinder so I can get a good angle to show everybody. Now you will notice right here, I switch it up. Come this way. That's because the way that's the way my hair grows. Still good and slick. It is rather thick. I didn't thin it out enough, so I'm just gonna wipe off the blade here. Back in the razor. There we go. Let's continue on, shall we? There we go. Come up at this angle. You know your technique is on point when you can go backhand across the face and blind to where you're shaving. You still get a good shave. I love these razors. 
gym style FC Razors. The blade is held completely different than the double edged blades. It's a different feeling. That's a good thing. All right, third pass, here we go. Do you have to do a third pass every single time? No, you can do a seven pass if you want to. Wouldn't recommend it, but you can. But I'm gonna take advantage of not having the kids for a little while and do a three pass shave. As you can see from that little load, on the brush more than enough for three plus passes. No need to get a bowl, just lie there on the face. There you have it. Keep in mind, okay, your three pass may look different than somebody else's. All in how your hair grows. All right. Just a second, I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. Trust me, you didn't miss anything. All right, now, the spot underneath my nose is always tricky. If I have to come up at an angle like this, Come back at an angle like this. And I just go straight down. Like Getting a few of the little places I've missed. There we go. There you have it. Real nice, real simple. Real fast. Three pass shave. And to finish it off today, just because we're in a hurry, we're going to go with a little bit of Harry's post shave balm. If you guys like these razors, I highly recommend you head over to the forum. That's uh, www.toast3. That is uh, T O S T 3, like T O S T. Three. I have a link down wherever they're putting the links at now. Come check us out. A lot of good people over there. And, well, just check us out. I think you'll like it. I think you'll enjoy it. We'd love to have you. And uh, every second Tuesday of the month, Fuzzy provides donuts, so it's always, it always works out. Until next time, you guys, take care. Hope you have a great week. Hope you have even better shaves. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.